Hey guys, what is up? My name is Kayla and today I thought I'd do a highly requested video all about my hair. So my hair is 27 inches long currently and this is the longest my hair has ever been. This is all my real hair. I do not wear extensions. It has taken me five to six years to get my hair to this length and to maintain it this long. The shampoo and conditioner that I use is the Tresemme Moisture Rich with Vitamin E. Um, this is very inexpensive. You can get it at any store. When washing my hair, I only apply the shampoo to my roots and then I let the water rinse the rest of the soap down the lengths of my hair only because shampoo is very drying and I don't want to dry out my bottoms any more than they already are. As far as conditioner goes, I apply that all over my hair and I let it set for two to three minutes before rinsing. I would suggest every woman get a wide tooth comb. Brushes are so damaging. When you're done brushing your hair, you're pulling all your hair out of the brush and that's why you can never see new growth and that's why you cannot maintain length. I ditched my brush a long time ago. Retro scrunchies, they're really ugly, I know, and you can't really do any cute hairstyles with them, but these really did save my hair. Elastic bands are so damaging, that's why you see so many flyaways in your hair. It's because the elastic is breaking your hair off, and these retro scrunchies do not do that. These help me maintain my length, and I will never use an elastic band again. I highly suggest you pick a few up. Now, this is my go-to coconut oil. I live by this. I swear by this. It is my holy grail. I love it so much. I apply this to my hair at least two to three times a month, and I'll let it set on my roots and all over for an hour, or I'll just pin my hair up and sleep with it in my hair and then wash it out in the morning. If you do do this, I would suggest changing your pillowcase because this does tend to get everywhere, and it just makes a big old mess, and you don't want to make a bigger mess than you have to. Another really good oil is Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This bottle goes a long way. It's only about $9. It is really thick, so I would suggest getting a dropper like I did so you can get it out. I only apply this to my roots for about an hour, and then I'll rinse it out. Next, we're going to talk about vitamins. I take biotin vitamins, and I have for about five years. I also recently started taking vitamin E, and I'll... Take both a day, every day with water. You don't have to take both a day. You can just choose one and stick with it. And these really have helped my hair growth. So for all my hair dyers, it's really expensive to dye your hair, especially when it's as long as mine, but it's also very damaging. So I would suggest going to your local beauty store and picking you a bottle of this up, and it is protein for your hair. I put it on my hair every six months while I'm in the shower, leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, and it helps maintain my color. Now that I've shared with you guys some do's, I'm now going to tell you some don'ts, and it's common sense, people. Heat is really bad for your hair. I know I used to apply heat to my hair all the time, and that's why my hair was so severely fried, and it was so short, and I never seen length. So if you cannot use it, that would be the best. I let my hair air dry. And that has really, really helped. My hair feels so much more healthier. But if you must use heat, please invest in a heat protector. They really do help. They're not that expensive. I put it all over my hair, and I don't even use heat on my hair. But for some reason, I feel like it helps protect my hair from the UVs that come from the sun. So I always make sure to keep a bottle on hand. But yeah, guys, this is the end of my video, and I really hope that this video helped you in some type of way if you're trying to grow your hair out. Thank you for watching. If you'd please like, comment, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.